Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the $34,500 storage unit. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is umpteen early in the morning on a Saturday, and I'm bewildered. There was a box here. There's been a box here for some time. I had bought uh, <laughs> a dresser, and I don't see the box. <coughs> so I'm out here, and I'm looking. I'm thinking to myself, did the box go? Don't know. I found the box. One of my children must have did that. All right, let's see if my slightly stupid booty left my keys inside of this truck because I can't find them anywhere. <laughs> Here we are, going to load this unit all right here so we have one unit to film, another unit to film. <sighs> Gotta get this stuff in here. All right, we got this unit right here is wrapped. I mean, this trailer right here is empty wrapped up and we have everything organized in here. Once again, here we got the millionaire doctor storage unit, made 200 grand a year, moved out of state, put it in storage and I guess they just didn't come back. Then you got the $34,500 storage unit. 20 feet so far plus there it's gonna be a lot of unboxings coming soon we're, we're trying to stay organized here's some great things we're gonna be putting on the internet flea markets research got this grandfather clock this will be pretty much how we're taking care of business now we are on our way to the thirty-four thousand five hundred dollar storage unit it is hot up in here it's supposed to be kind of cool today what a week it has been we're gonna go pick up our last load out of this unit it's been a week since I bought the unit. It's Friday now. And what a week it's been. It's been very, uh, there's been so much gossip, drama, he said he, she said he things, rumors flying, smack talking, people trying to get a piece of it, et cetera, et cetera. Down talk me or whatever the case may be. And the fact is, I knew what I was doing. People don't believe that. My, you know, Pirate is a very loose individual. I don't um, hide things. I don't carry shame. I do things by a certain code and I'm a man of my word. Much like when Babe Ruth used to step to the plate, he used to take the bat, he pointed to the home run fence and he called the shot he was doing. That's what I did on this storage unit. I had told both Alex and Jack before the auction ever came, I'm willing to spend $38,000. I have 38,000 left after paying rent and bills coming up month, and I will spend every dollar of it to get this unit. I told him I'm gonna bid 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000, et cetera. I was gonna go in 5,000 increments because it didn't matter to me. I knew what the unit looked like. They saw furniture, so did everybody else. That's why the rumors have been flying and the gossip. Oh, it's just full of furniture. I know storage units. Storage units are psychology. When somebody owns two or three units, it's all gonna be similar stuff. It's just human psychology. Something I learned as a furniture mover. So I was willing to risk it all because I knew it was back there. I even asked the auctioneer, which I'm glad he didn't. I said, hey, put the camera up top so we could see. And I'm kind of glad he didn't because then everybody would have saw the same thing I knew was gonna be item behind there. So far, I have sold one train for 400. I sold a few things to donate to charity and the Talbert's mom's auction. About $400 and stuff there. Plus I sold another 200 previous auction. I'm at $1,000 so far in just four items that I've sold out of this unit. I have 2,000, maybe 2,500 boxes and packages to unbox. Plus I've already unboxed several as you see. And I think I got about 15 grand more or more in just about 50 boxes in my garage. I got 2,500 to go. I'm telling you guys right now, this was a grand slam. This was a grand slam. Then you step back up after a grand slam and you hit a back-to-back -back home run. This storage unit will profit, will sell at least. Now I can't say profit. There will be well over $100,000 in the next few months in sales minimum. There'll be a lot of videos as you see what we've been doing. Cause I also bought another, I bought, after that unit, I stepped up and hit another inside the park home run with this 3375 unit. And we're gonna be, this is gonna be videos for days. So I wanted to get this out and clear the air because there's been a lot of chatter at the auctions. There's been a lot of he said, she said, there's been a lot of egos being hurt, et cetera, et cetera. But the fact is when I say something, I mean it and I'm gonna do it. Very important to understand that about the storage auction. I'm not the storage auction Easter Bunny. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the $34,500 storage unit. We got an empty trailer right there. 
We got Clint the Cookie Monster here. He's gonna take a load for it. We got this storage unit here left to go. There's all sorts of stuff. We have not gone through anything here. We're gonna go through, we're gonna root it. We're gonna toot it and we're gonna boot it. This and the last unit, this is where we were finding jerseys and vintage rock shirts was in these plastic totes. We're gonna find more boxes. There's still unopened trains, et cetera, et cetera. There's still lots of great stuff here. We gotta get through all these little things and we gotta decide what to do with it, whether it's going to the market, whether it's going here, whether it's going there. This stuff fairly fast. I'm gonna be looking for stuff. Here we go, like, look at that, uranium ornaments. That's a good, that'll end up on a live option. Same with stuff like this. We got Tweety Birds. Pretty much a whole box of just stuff to go on a live auction. This is like just what we're gonna do. Like, look, this is, I just packed, this is all unopened packages sitting on the ground. This is the type of stuff that we got no time today to deal with. We need some up boxes in your truck anyway. Look at this. I told you it was bullets. <laughs> Not yet. But he had a 22 that we found in the other unit. Oh, I see that one. So. There you go, Uncle Mike. You put it on the wheels. Not yeah. You're getting the hang of it now. More socks. <laughs> and also, you just have your underwear. We've been to get, we all got socks. Look, a whole box of 22 ammo, Winchester. All good this all goes for, home with me. This is all for your house. That's why, I, remember that you know what I bought in, uh, in Snap, 10 by 40, 10 by 40, full of brand new stuff. Back when you could steal mail 22 bullets. I love it. Oh, what do you got? One train? One train. All right. That is nice right there. Stuff coming out, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this little tote. Silver dollar right there. American Eagle. Brand new. That's kind of cool. I haven't found stuff like that really yet. Look at that. Alameed Aladin Nursery. Yes, I'm sure for the Livermore Coast. Granada, Texaco. That's a good little... That's about 125 in patches. And you got these skeleton keys that are for railroad locks. That is probably about 150 bucks right there just for that stuff. Then you come over here. Where's your change jar? We're going to put it over here because um, we're going to find more, I think. You that, that's good. Ooh, see what I'm talking about? Can I just bring it directly? Pennies. I like it. We're going to have a serious coin video. Dimes. Dropping dimes on people. What in the world? Double cooking chocolate dough. This guy was really into okay. hair dye. Whoo! Look at that. We got the nickels. Tons of hair dye. You sure you don't need no hair dye, Uncle Michael? This is because you were dyeing his broad. The dude's really your work. I don't use dye. You, you should. I should? <laughs> like there you go. We're getting our way back to $34,500. A set of Fetamine gel tablets. We got off. This actually, you know what? I should take home because I'm getting bit by mosquitoes everywhere. Medicine, more disolamine. I don't know what that is. Doesn't sound good though. Look at that. Here's uh, the sh the sharks announcer autograph. All right, that box is pretty much well. We got tons of stuff like hair dye and stuff, sellable things. You need some razors, Clint? I do. All right, give them the give them Uncle Michael them. dibs them already. We're just plugging away here, guys, filming very little, trying to get stuff that needs to be filmed into the cookie van right there. This stuff will just go straight to the market. We've already kind of, it's, it's, it's ideally, you know what's in there. I do anyway, so. I'll just change right here, just adding up. All right, dressers are always fun to look in, and this one right here is a gold mine. Check it out. We're going to start going through this real quick, and I'm just going to show you. Train, 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 train. Holy smokes, we got peach, Victoria's Secret perfume, always good. Then we got train, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, little end scale figures. We got more trains, more trains, more trains. We got just the trains are coming out of here like nobody's business. We got trains, train parts. Um, yes, it's just insane. All right, I'm going to put these in the box and we'll keep continuing. Oh, oh geez. Okay. 
That's a neat little box of stuff right there. Keys and so forth. People love keys. Nothing of importance there. Another train. We got a coin, a 1971.50 cent piece. We got a watch, we got tracks. Train, train park, look at that. There is $20 and stuff there. What is it? Yeah, hold on, stop, let's come film it though. We took a quick break real quick from this dressers because Clint saw something excites him. We've been, oh, <laughs> that's had another thousand dollar box, Clint. Van Halen. This is money right here. Go ahead, I'll let you do it. Cars. This is all wrong. Wasp. Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne. Like every single one. Roofless people. Sounds like Uncle Michael. Night Ranger. Dio. <laughs> this is all 20 Perfect. plus dollar records, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't this insane? We're gonna get back like five grand just in the records. Like Looks like Michael. The day he went and bought Michael's records. <laughs> Michael, Def Leppard. I almost thought it was sealed. Motley Crue. Wow. Van Halen, Van Halen, Rat. Rat. We're talking just nothing but $20 plus records. Kiss the originals. You listed that last night. It sold for 100 bucks. It did? Yeah, this morning. <laughs> <laughs> bon Jovi. Heavy Metal, the movie. Oh, something just continued. <laughs> sold. It just sold another one as we're talking about it. <laughs> Dokin. Madonna. That's a $20 album. Oh, it's sealed even more? No, it's not sealed. They're open on the side. But oh, this one right here. This is probably 40 to 100 bucks. This record right here, depending on which version, is 40 to 100 bucks. Any Guns N' Roses is a good, a good album. Oh, my gosh. They took good care of them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They're oh, record bags. <laughs> He just bought the stuff. Motley Crue. Another, uh, oh, that's Aerosmith. 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 Mellow Mall. Peter Frampton. Been to that concert. You didn't? Yeah. Bet you got wasted there. I did. Boston. <laughs> Boston. Oh, man. Cinderella. Oh, White Snake. This is just nuts. Guess, so what do we got here? The Boom. Elton John. There's more kiss in the back. <laughs> What's this bag here? Let's see. Let's take it out. Um, we, we can if you want to. Hold on, Abdul. Yeah, that's a Keith Herring painting that's on the front. That's pretty tight. That's tight. <laughs> then we got Take a Test Spin, Jefferson Starship, Black Sabbath. <laughs> Cheech and Chong. Cheech and Ooh, Chicago, yeah. Chicago, Chicago, Quiet Riot, Black Sabbath, Twisted Sister, Keel, Cindy Lauper, Loverboy. Hey, Holy smokes. This is a, that's What's over a thousand dollar box, wouldn't you I say? Didn't, I didn't see that one. We haven't seen that one yet. Oh. Would you say it's over a thousand dollar box? Yeah. Well over a thousand. Yeah. Oh, wow. This one could go home with you, I guess, Clint. This is, this is so exciting. All right, let's get back to this dresser right here. Concert stuff. I've never seen a unit with just so much stuff that like this. It's, you just got to take your time and look up everything. So I'm being very methodical and trying to be efficient at the same time. By doing so, I'm separating for the market and I'm separating for the, the look later on. Batteries, batteries, batteries. I'm trying to find out what he had because he had to have $20,000 watches. That, that, that was cool. What? I nice like $20,000 watches. Uh, it's funny as you, you notice we don't, we haven't found like a $1,000 item yet. We don't find like really expensive things. We find so many $25 and $50 bills. Look at that train right there. Like I said, $340, $100 bills puts this unit in profit. I don't even have time to open that. I don't know what it is. We'll look at it at a later date. We got... What about that's a good Some type of train, mm, train coupler, train part mount. <laughs> it just got trains everywhere. Trains on my mind. Yes, it is another one. Maglite patches and a 
I think that's a wrap for this dresser drawer right here. One dresser drawer probably yielded 500 bucks. We got pins for kitty cats and trains and stuff like that. All right, we're gonna call that a wrap on this one here. All right, do you think the next drawer will be just as good? I haven't looked yet. Mm, doesn't look exciting. Aerobic animal. Gillette is the best a man can get. Okay. This one's not exciting. That was. Yes, I am. Is it perverted? Bunch of magazines. Are they uh, woman on man, man on man? Or what are we looking at here? This drawer was not as exciting for us. Coloring book. Stamps. Remember the mint set. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and go with that one. That's a good one. California Pebble Beach. I think you'll like that one, Clint. Here's an ugly Christmas sweater. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> What's the one called? Big Thunder? <laughs> Big Thunder's in there. <laughs> I don't need to see all of them. Uh, we got Cal said be careful down here so I'm gonna have to take my time and not it's really warm up there now. Okay. So we got tool. Railway dream plan build. Okay. Nothing exciting. Yeah, I think you come along here quick. Checks, no money. You need that? Yeah. You guys don't want it? No, we need to have it. What is it? Pins, pins, hey, piece of gold. All, all right, that was almost cool. Uncle Mike would have liked. No, it wasn't Raiders. I thought it was Raiders. Uncle Diamond stylus. We're gonna go Only through that next. Go we'll go through that soon. You guys are that one, Looks like we got some silver here. Nice. Who doesn't like silver? Silver coins. Doesn't have any money? He didn't need hundred dollar bills in here for us hidden nowhere. It's always nice when people do that. Oh, I didn't see that stuff. Well, you're new to this point. Yeah. Mickey Mouse watch. I said you're new to this. Thing. I know. You're literally your first time sorting the unit. I think right? that's why you're liking me here. It's like I don't have the Uncle Michael bad habits. Savings account. What did he have in his savings? Who wants to know? He didn't have a lot. It's 
spins it all. Another wallet. Like, who does this crap? Why do people just keep buying wallets, leaving their cards in there, getting new ones? I don't know. A lot of stuff to return. Look at these skeleton keys. Those are money right there. Here, he just kept buying wallets, getting new cards, maxing them out. No money. Hockey puck. Another pricey stylus for a good record player. Did you say you wanted these magazines for later? Because I'm cool if you do. Like I said, this type of stuff, I'll go to the... I'll go to the flea market and I will look through this stuff again one more time because like things like this, these railroad keys are, are pricey. Yeah, I mean, it's all, it's, he'll, he'll be Solar busy. calculator. Because even in there, you're gonna film the stresser. I'm gonna film the stresser, yeah, Clint. I, I just wanted to see what he was in the I know, but you you take away the integrity of filming when you go through it and then I try to film. I'm not like some of the other YouTubers like to look first and then they want to show you. That box has well over a thousand dollars of stuff in it now. This is a good, good, good unit. All right, that's a wrap on this one video, guys. We got so many more to come in this thirty-four thousand five hundred dollars storage unit. You just saw several things. We're not even able to go through everything. There's no time. We must get it to our new location and take our time. We still got. I just did that dresser right there. We're gonna go through this dresser before and most of the other stuff. We won't be filming in this unit. This is what we're looking at so far for flea market load is right there. All that will end up at the flea market. Also be sorted again one time. We're making more boxes and piles of stuff to film later. Cookie Monster's van is completely full of stuff that needs to be filmed. What do you guys think so far? Am I definitely going to profit on the scene, don't you think? Oh, yeah. What are you thinking so far in sales? I'm seeing double your money. I'm seeing well over $100,000. I'm seeing deep see, into I don't the, see the whole picture like you see. I'm seeing, I'm seeing past 125 right now. But I see double your money easy. Easily. Don't forget to like button, share button, subscribe, and say something pretty. I'm out. Ha!